Today, I'll be unraveling the plot of a dystopian science fiction action thriller film titled What Happened to Monday. Brace yourself for spoilers and exercise caution. In the year 2043, Earth's population has multiplied exponentially, causing a severe shortage of various resources. To address this crisis, the world turns to genetically modified crops, rapidly distributed globally. However, this solution triggers an alarming surge in multiple births worldwide, exacerbating the existing problem. The unforeseen consequences prompt political activist and esteemed conservation biologist Dr. Nicolette came in to advocate for the implementation of a one-child-per-family policy within the Federation. The subsequent formation of the Child Allocation Bureau, CAB, aims to enforce this policy, requiring all citizens to wear Bureau-issued identity bracelets. These bracelets, scanned at various checkpoints throughout cities, reveal data indicating whether individuals have siblings. Upon detection of a sibling, the police are alerted and promptly intervene, taking the additional child. These children are placed into cryosleep with the promise of awakening in a better world once the global crisis is resolved. In the same year, a woman named Karen Setman gives birth to septuplets due to genetically modified food but tragically passes away. The septuplets' grandfather Terence opts not to disclose the existence of the seven siblings to the authorities. Instead, he assigns each sibling a day of the week, and they live in secrecy in a place equipped with hidden areas, meticulously constructed by Terence. Trained to assume the identity of Karen Setman, each sibling ventures out on their designated day, growing up sharing this collective identity. Upon returning home, they share their experiences, crucially allowing the next sibling to continue the charade. Terence hacks electronic bracelets, Ensuring they all bear the identity of Karen Setman, complete with GPS for location tracking when outside the house. Additionally, Terrence creates a hidden refuge within the apartment for use during potential intrusion. On a particular Saturday, one sister is attending a ballet contest, while another, Thursday, decides to sneak out and skate. When Saturday returns, Thursday is still missing, causing great concern for their guardian Terrence. Suddenly, a knock on the door startles them, prompting everyone to hide in their secret refuge, except for Saturday. Terence, armed with a gun, cautiously opens the door to find Thursday has returned. Tragically, Thursday's lost her index finger due to a skateboard mishap. To maintain their collective identity, Terence decides to cut off the index fingers of all the sisters, starting with Monday. Three decades later, the sisters, now adults, have distinct characteristics and appearances following their grandfather's passing. Monday, the firstborn, embraces the collective identity, portraying the good girl, the golden child, in an A-type personality. Tuesday becomes the paranoid pothead with a rebellious streak, while Wednesday embodies athleticism and a fighting spirit. Thursday remains the bad girl, craving individuality and autonomy. Friday, the smart and tech-savvy sister, is credited for the sister's success. Saturday, the wild child, enjoys leisure on Saturdays, never having worked a day in her life. Sunday takes on the role of caregiver, attending church and being the believer of the group. With their differing appearances, the sisters resort to wigs and makeup to conceal any distinguishing features. On a specific Monday, it's time for the designated sister to leave the house, but she is apprehensive. This particular Monday Karen Setman is set to give a crucial office presentation for a promotion. At a checkpoint on her way to the office Monday encounters Adrian, a CAB agent responsible for identity checks. Upon reaching work, Monday meets Jerry in the elevator, both vying for the same promotion. Jerry, aware of Karen's secret, resorts to blackmail to secure the promotion. As night falls, the remaining sisters anxiously await Monday's return tracking the GPS location of her bracelet. Strangely, her whereabouts cannot be traced, leading to heightened panic among the sisters, fearing something may have happened to Monday. The following day, Tuesday ventures to work, attempting to maintain a facade of normalcy. She discovers that Monday secured the promotion and met Jerry at a bar. Before she can delve deeper into the matter, CAB, agents apprehend her, severing her communications. Within the CAB, facility Adrian witnesses Tuesday B 
being led to a cell where she encounters Nicolette Cayman, the head of the CAB. Cayman discloses her knowledge of Tuesday's numerous siblings and the existence of five of her twins still residing in their shared apartment. A CAB agent named Joe seizes Tuesday, brandishing a knife. Back at the apartment, the remaining five sisters panic. Soon after, CAB agents infiltrate their home using Karen's eye to bypass a retinal scanner. A confrontation ensues, resulting in the sisters defeating the agents, but tragically Sunday is shot and succumbs to her injuries. The remaining four sisters grieve over Sunday's death, sinking deeper into despair. At the apartment, Friday discovers that the eye used belonged to Tuesday, sparking suspicions that Jerry may have betrayed them. The next day, Wednesday, foregoing her disguise, confronts Jerry. Surprisingly, Jerry is unaware of Karen's identity as one of seven siblings. He only knows about Karen's financial contribution to Nicolette Cayman's campaign, leading to her promotion. Shortly thereafter, a CAB sniper eliminates Jerry in an attempt to escape Wednesday flees Jerry's apartment, but she is cornered by CAB agent Joe and ultimately shot dead. Back at the twins' apartment, a knock on the door startles Saturday, Friday, and Thursday. The latter two sisters immediately conceal themselves, while Saturday opens the door to find Adrian, a CAB agent. Adrian flirts with Saturday, who initially fails to recognize him. Upon realization, Saturday learns about Adrian's romantic relationship with one of them. Adrian invites Saturday to his apartment. Taking a brief pause, Saturday confers with her sisters. Thursday advises her to accompany Adrian, seeing it as an opportunity to gather information about Monday's whereabouts. Friday also advises Saturday to covertly synchronize her bracelet with Adrian's to enable them to hack into the CAB server. Reluctantly, Saturday agrees and accompanies Adrian to his apartment. There, she extracts information from Adrian, revealing that Monday was the one secretly involved with him. Following Friday's suggestion, Saturday clandestinely syncs her bracelet with Adrian's, granting Friday access to the CAB servers. Through a video feed, the sisters believe they have located Monday in a holding cell. After Adrian departs from his apartment, Saturday promptly informs Friday and Thursday that Monday was the one concealing a relationship with Adrian. Simultaneously, CAB agents arrive and fatally shoot Saturday in front of her sisters. Soon after Karen's apartment is stormed by CAB agents led by Joe. In a selfless act, Friday sacrifices herself by detonating their apartment, providing an opportunity for Thursday to escape and rescue Monday. Now, only two twins remain? Thursday and Monday, still confined Adrian, learning about the explosion at Karen's apartment, rushes to the scene. There, he encounters Thursday, who accuses him of reporting Karen. However, Adrian is unaware of the existence of the seven twins. Realizing that Karen is a septuplet, he professes his love for Monday and agrees to assist Thursday in rescuing her. Adrian covertly brings Thursday into CAB headquarters using a body bag, and she is taken into the cryosleep room. Inside, Thursday secretly records a child undergoing cryosleep, only to witness the child being incinerated instead of frozen. When it is Thursday's turn, she retaliates. Kicking the officer and placing her in cryosleep, Adrian assists Thursday in leaving the cryosleep room, and together, they locate the cell where Monday is in prison. Surprisingly, Tuesday is the one in the cell, missing one eye. Finally, Adrian and Tuesday are tasked with hacking a video operator to showcase a shocking video about cryosleep at a fundraising event organized by Cayman. Meanwhile, Thursday searches for Monday and eventually encounters her in a restroom. To everyone's surprise, Monday appears unharmed. However, it transpires that Monday is the betrayer. Having reported her twins to Cayman Monday, has been sending substantial bribes to Cayman and desires to be the sole Karen. A confrontation ensues in the restroom, leading to Thursday accidentally shooting Monday. Thursday then assumes Monday's identity at the fundraising event, unbeknownst to Cayman. Meanwhile, Tuesday and Adrian broadcast the shocking footage of Thursday's video depicting the incineration of a child leaving the entire event audience in disbelief. In that moment, Cayman realizes that Thursday is in disguise and angrily confronts her, gripping her throat. During the chaos, Monday, severely injured, emerges from the restroom, pointing a gun at Thursday. 
Misinterpreting Monday's actions, Joe shoots her, assuming she intends to harm Cayman. In response, Adrian swiftly eliminates Joe. As the crowd disperses, Monday discloses to Thursday that she betrayed their sisters because she is pregnant with Adrian's twins. An unfortunate revelation that means one of her children will be taken away. Driven by the desire to protect her unborn children, Monday strikes a deal with Cayman. She covertly discloses the knowledge and locations of her six sisters, in exchange for her freedom, to live a normal life as Karen. Shortly afterward, Monday succumbs to her wounds. In the story's conclusion, the one-child policy is abolished, and Cayman faces the death penalty. Only Thursday, Adrian, and Tuesday survive the tumultuous events. Mondays and Adrian's twins undergo development in an artificial womb. The camera pans out, revealing hundreds of crying babies in an expansive ward, tended to by nursing staff, and thus concludes the tale of what happened to Monday. If you enjoyed this narrative, consider subscribing for more content. Don't forget to turn on notifications and leave a like to support the channel. Thank you for watching.